Greetings, Awakening African family. Uh, I greet you in the greetings of peace. In the Kemetic language, we say Hotep. In ancient Hebrew, we say Shalom. And in Islam, we say Asalem Alaikum. Peace is what is needed on the planet today. And for there to be outer peace, there has to be inner peace. And for there to be wisdom, you have to have peace within. In uh, the spiritual teachings of ancient Kemet, peace undergirds spiritual wisdom, power, and the oneness of God. With that being said, uh, let's get into uh, the um, document that I just posted. And we live in a very prophetic times on the planet. There's a lot happening um, in Africa as well as in the diaspora. I want to begin in the book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 13 through 14. And he said unto Abraham, or Abraham, the word Abraham comes, if we break it down, ab from the Kemetic word ab, meaning um, heart, and those men and women who are on the upper tier of the tree of life. Ra, or ram, refers to the life force or the spiritual power that is slumbering within man. So in Genesis, he says, Know for surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them for 400 years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterwards shall they come out with great substance. Now, we know that in ancient Kemet, in the hieroglyphic or the medu netter or medu netter there is no recording uh, historical facts of the hebrews ever being enslaved in ancient egypt or kemet for 400 years so this part of the book of genesis has to be referring to a future people and a future time that future people in time is in referencing to the Blacks, the Africans in America, and their sojourn for 400 years under white rule or white supremacy. And historically, no demographic of people besides the Blacks in America fits this prophecy. Thus, it was meant for the coming and the conclusion of the Piscean age into the coming of the age of Aquarius. Now, there's an old African proverb that says, don't set sail on someone else's star. Don't ride their shirt tail or their, their coat tail and expect to, you know, be recognized and acknowledged or hailed uh, victory. Africans in America, AKA the African Americans, must reunite with their brothers and sisters in Africa, on the African continent, for we are one people, one family. And to think that uh, the black Americans is different or separate from the struggle of their brothers and sisters here on the African continent is flawed. The struggle is one, although it's happening on two different battlefields, two different battlefronts, and using different uh, weaponization. In Africa is neocolonialism. In America is more uh, police brutality and institutional racism slash white supremacy. And once we can acknowledge in scriptures 
that this battle is not just about uh, liberating Black Americans or Africans in America, but also the liberation of the continent. So the prophecy says, um, after 400 years of, of separation, exploitation, uh, Americans fighting against Jim Crow, segregation, um, Africans on the continent being uh, bombarded with neocolonialism, spiritual indoctrination, i.e. Uh, the gospel of Jesus, uh, economic exploitation, uh, cultural assimilation, i.e. in our schooling system, we're still being taught in a Eurocentric uh, paradigm. All of these things have contributed to the impoverishment and the denigration of the African. Because when the African looks at, him, at himself, he doesn't see the, the divinity of God in himself. Rather, he sees um, a blonde hair, blue eye, Caucasian man as deity and does not recognize that he too is deity. And he has the ability and the capacity to manifest the powers of God. Now, to do this, it's a very challenging spiritual task and ordeal as it will require people of higher spiritual knowledge, higher spiritual leadership, men and women who understand the dynamics of the Western culture, as well as what's happening on the continent of Africa. Now, we also must acknowledge that there has been wrongdoings on both sides of the Atlantic by the Africans against his own brothers and sisters in America, and also by the Blacks in America, the Black Americans, in uh, their hatred or anger and um, uh, disdain for their brothers and sisters here on the African continent for selling them uh, into slavery. So the, the transatlantic slave trade, which we called in the conscious community, the ma'afa, ma'afa meaning from the, from the Swahili word, meaning great calamity or destruction and chaos, because that in essence is what happened to the African in his sojourn from Africa to the Western Hemisphere and then the subsequent uh, 350 years of free labor to help build America. The, the Ma'afa experience needs uh, healing, reconciliation, atonement, redress, um, breaking of new grounds and new understanding between the African Americans and the African in the continent. Uh, we all know, or we all should know, that Africa is the guardian of Eden. All humanity, all life, uh, 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 in terms of human, human life, started in Africa. And this is being corroborated in archaeology, in genetics, in, uh, in the scriptures, and in um, just basic uh, science biology and if we understand that africa is the genesis is the the foundation in which all human being came and evolved from then we have to understand that we are made to be the head not the tail but for for that to happen we have to go back to the tree of life the spiritual blueprint is the tree of life there are many Africans on the continent with brilliant ideas, uh, very uh, far thinking, uh, far sightedness, 
uh, creative, inventive brothers and sisters. But when we're talking about uh, reunification of the continent and bringing uh, the people of Africa back together again, then we must go back to the blueprint, the spiritual blueprint in which ancient Kemet was built. And that's the tree of life. And in Genesis, it's talking about two trees in the middle of the Garden of Eden, the tree of life and the tree of knowledge. The tree of life and the tree of knowledge is one in the same. They're one in the same. You cannot have life without knowledge. You cannot have life if you don't have knowledge. And this is why the Bible says, my people suffer due to the lack of knowledge. And if we had the knowledge, especially the knowledge of self, which is the God conscious, the Godhead, the, 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 the God consciousness, you know, then we could say to matter, move, and matter would move as we speak. It will move on demand. And this is part of why you watch these movies, uh, Star Wars, uh, Return of the Jedi, uh, The Matrix, uh, the Kung Fu movies where you see people flying in trees and so forth and walking on air and all these other things. These is part of our spiritual uh, uh, signs. These is part of our spiritual abilities that we have been um, sleep, asleep on. The African has to be uh, resurrected. The African has to be uh, reawakened to his God-like abilities, his God-like potential. And he cannot depend on European and foreign uh, weapons to liberate himself. This is the, the part of the, the fallacy that we see in Mali, in Burkina Faso, in uh, uh, Niger, and elsewhere, when Africans are now uh, assuming power with the weapons of Europeans and believing that those weapons that they have bought on the European market or the Chinese market to defend themselves is what's going to keep them and sustain them and maintain their power, which is it's a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword because one, you didn't manufacture it. And when, the second thing is, it's not of God. It's not of God. Nuclear weapons and, and biological weapons that harms the planet, harms the ocean, harms the, the animal, harms the, the, the water table, is not of God. And we're, we're, to change all of this, it would take a revolutionized uh, spiritually coming back to an African concept of spirituality, an African spiritual system, and reinitiating people into the different spheres of the tree of life, the different branches of the tree of life, and, 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 and making sure that they understand that it's all connected, but everybody have a role to play. Everybody has their role to play, almost like a like a football team. You know, you don't put you don't put the number nine at the number two position. You don't put the number ten at the number five position. And once you once you understand people's uh, spiritual uh, talents, their abilities, their strength, their weaknesses, then you begin to plug into them in the system of the tree of life where they best uh, where they best fit in terms of helping us to rebuild uh, a new nation. So I thank you for uh, listening. These few uh, words I have to share. I hope that everybody is having a wonderful and a blessed Tuesday on this Tuesday uh, afternoon here in Liberia and wherever you find yourself on the planet at this time. Let's continue to build, let's continue to dialogue, let's continue to uh, share ideas and knowledge and information towards the reunification and the liberation of Mama Africa. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. 
I greet you in peace, etat.